Hello everybody, this is Inayat Mir with Windows PowerShell. In this video, I will install PowerShell 6.0. I will upgrade a PowerShell from existing version to new version, which will be 5.x or 5.1. So, let's see that how we will do this all. First, I have to look at my old Windows Server 2008 computer. So, that Windows Server 2008 or 2 is running PowerShell version 2.0. So, what I gonna do here, I will upgrade this computer with version 5.1. Then, I will download 5.1 version for another virtual server so here you see that i am running windows server 2008 or 2 you can run dollar host to look at what a powershell version we are running so here i am running this dollar host command that shows you i am running windows powershell 2.0 so it is very straightforward to download windows management framework 5.1 so here we have this url and a little bit definition about windows powershell upgrade so just take a look and download desired version so whichever version you are basically looking for it depends on your operating system so simply all you have to do download and install so once you download it gonna take in real time a little while when you install so once installation is done you can restart your computer and you will see a new version so let me switch into a different windows server 2012 r2 computer where i am already running windows powershell it was version 5 uh, 4.0 so i installed windows management framework to upgrade to windows 5.1 i will also demo on my virtual computer this is my virtual computer which is running a hyper v and this is a uh, uh, windows server 2008 r2 computer running 4.0 powershell version so i am installing Windows Management Framework 5.1 directly from Google. Once you run, it will complete in about 15 to 20 minutes. You restart. Once you come back, you will have your new version, Windows PowerShell 5.1. So after this, I will also show you few commands and will download powershell 6.0 and run commands on powershell 6.0 as well first i am showing you here after reboot i got my powershell version 5.1 so let's play with some commands so get dash service that will bring up your services from powershell you can view in descending order or ascending order first i am going to sort these objects and see that which service is running also you can filter so any service starts with s you can see s as in same so you see half of that services are running and a few of them are not running so you can take a same command pipe it with out dash grid view so you can take a look take a look on these ser uh, services running as a grid view so you can further enhance if you want to to a different way so you can also see which service is running and which service is is not running so you can uh, filter with your uh, where dash object command so here we have to point out under these curly brackets with a dollar underscore dot. So that is the way you start for the status. So you are looking for a status which is equal to 
running and you have to close your curly brackets so once you hit enter you will see only running services you can use same method to look at stopped services so what i gonna do here i gonna use same command i will hit up arrow bring the same command back up and i will first look at as a grid view for all running services out dash grid view then i am going to change from running to stopped so i have to use up arrow to bring back my previous command all you need to type here stopped so you will be able to see all services which are not running in a grid view manner very straightforward very simple nothing is so difficult here now you gonna see that if your win rm is running so all you have to do in quotations win rm pipe it to get dash service so win rm is running which is a windows remote management so here i'm just looking at the time zone certain uh, commands very basic commands which you supposed to know if you want to install powershell 6.0 simply you go to github github and look for the download for powershell 6.0 that's how you download and install it once you install it you can save any at any location you you have a beta version of 7 and also today you have uh, version 6 available in beta version so let's look at few commands here as well the way we run the commands on version 5.1 most of these commands are supported for version 6.0 I am going to pipe services with a sort object and looking at status and here you can look at ascending order by default or descending order by adding a minus DESC switch. So these are the all services what you are looking at right now are running. You can customize your commands. You can modify your command, existing command. You can filter. So here I am going to filter with a letter, any alphabetical letter which you think has a service. So I am going to use just a random number, a capital letter H as in Henry. So you're going to see two services stopped already but you have these two services you can uh, use in 5.1 5 version i used uh, s as in sam so you can use any of these so, so this was just a basic demo about the powershell i'm using my new computer which is a member server right now it is a virtual running on hyper v and this member server is running powershell version 4.0 same thing if you have any server running with any lower version of powershell simply you go and get windows management framework 5.0 or 5.1 and upgrade or you can go ahead and download version 6.0 and beta version 8 is available as of today so you can either way you can use existing powershell or you can use new PowerShell console and there will be a lot to come in PowerShell 6.0. So I will be focusing on 5.1 and 6.0 PowerShell in my future videos. And I hope you would like this video and thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.